Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stay in Love Motivations. I'm Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator. And I'm so excited to be doing this. I, I feel like I'm a new person and um, I feel like I'm finally me. And my intention is to share everything that I have acquired, attained, and learned in my lifetime it's to you. It is my sincere prayer that uh, these little five-minute tidbits that you receive every week will be able to apply them somewhere in your life or be able to transfer them to someone else. So let's get started. My first topic that I want to be covering is the ego. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because today's my birthday and I wanted to cover that because the last three years, my ego has, I've underwent a, I call it a circumcision of the ego. So the ego, do we even know what it is? Do we have any idea? Are we able to recognize if it's our divinity or if it's our ego that we are conveying to the world? I know I had no idea what my ego was. I wasn't able to identify it as clearly uh, growing up and going through my life as I was navigating through it. And I'm telling you right now, it when you're able to... Separate yourself, remove yourself from your situation and be able to evaluate and really uh, witness your behavior. Then you'll be able to understand whether or not it's your divinity that's working or it's your ego. And there is a very stress difference. And I guess you would say you're probably asking me, well, how will I know if it's my ego if it's not well? A friend of mine, uh, Christopher sent this uh, write-up about the ego, and it says something like, uh, here it is, right here. Here it is, the ego. Um, it says, three letters that hold you back from saying things your heart is dying to say, like I love you, I miss you, I'm sorry. So um, you can look at it that way. Your ego is going to prevent you from a you allowing from allowing you to be you, from allowing you to uh, allow that part of you to die that is unnecessary. Some people call it the flesh. You know, I, I call it. I like to call it everything that's that's not you. Um, I know after much work, many months of work. I was able to actually uh, extract myself from my situation and see my ego. And I was like, oh, my goodness, that's my ego. You know, when you're trying to be more than you're not or when you're just not allowing yourself to be you or when you're denying yourself what you know that you deserve because we are all God's creatures. And if it's something that you're desiring, oh, OK, here we go. If there's something that you're desiring, you say, oh, I just don't think it's necessary. I just don't need. Why are you desiring it? That's your ego. That's a part of you. That's your design. And if it's something that you desire, didn't he say that if you delight yourself in me, I'll give you the desires of your heart. So if you're taking delight in your true existence, you are operating from a place of joy, thereby attracting your heart's desire. So when you learn to be just you, that joyful, loving, kind, Jesus-filled you, then you'll attract whatever you desire, and it'll all be good. I know that I had to learn to do that. I had to learn to just accept myself for who I am, love myself. What, you know what? Once I loved, fell in love with me, then I was able to appreciate all the love that was around me through my family members and through people that I consider my family. 
So I hope that you start to just pay attention to yourself, your behavior. And just start to say, you know what, is that my ego behavior or is that my divinity? And you know it because your divinity will be sitting back there going, are you done yet? So you'll know. I hope these tidbits have been useful for you. Next week, we're going to be talking about provision, unless I'm directed otherwise. Um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed these. Uh, if you want to know more about the services that I can provide to you, go to www.stayinlove.com. That's www.stayinlove.com. And you can take a look at uh, how I can be of service to you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. It's my birthday. And I'm already enjoying it because I was able to launch this earlier than suspected. So I'm so grateful and I hope you guys really enjoyed the rest of your week. Remember, stay in love. Peace.